Sondervan is now in charge of publishing the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. Previously, it was produced by Kirkbride Bibles. And since Sondervan took over, they came out with their first editions, which were basically reprints of the Kirkbride edition, which is what I have here in the King James Version. Now, they are coming out with the new comfort print editions of the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. This is the first time that the Thompson Chain has ever been in the comfort print. And the first translation that they've come out with in the comfort print is the New International Version. So I'm going to focus on this Bible, but I will compare it a little bit to the previous edition. I will give a caveat right off the bat, though, that because this is the King James Version, and this is the NIV, I'm not sure if some of the differences that we see may have to do with the translation. I believe that the KJV is going to be a lot like this, but it is possible some of the things that I point out are going to be different when the KJV Comfort Print Edition comes out, so we'll see. One thing you will notice right off the bat, though, that I'm seeing is a difference here, though these are both hardcover editions, is that the newer ones have two ribbons here, and the older one that I have is just this one ribbon, a narrower ribbon, and the new ribbons are wider, two of them and wider ribbons. So that's an improvement right there. The NIV edition is a blue cover. It has this paper cover and then the hard cover itself. It does have something on the spine, but it is plain on the front. But I think that the paper cover looks really nice. And then the back does have some information about this Bible. It also has the retail price here for the hardcover as $55. And as you can see here, this one is in the comfort print. It does have a presentation page on cardstock when we get in here. The title page publisher title page, and you're going to see right off the bat one of the differences with the newer editions is that this is now in a two-color printed format. So on this publisher title page, you have black and red print there. The copyright page here tells you that this specific edition is uh, printed in 2022. The copyright on it is 2022. So it looks like the last time that this was all updated was 1983. Now that might be specifically for the NIV Thompson chain, but this newest update is this year as I'm recording this, 2022. And this one is printed in China in 2022. And here's the contents page. Again, you're seeing here that on this page you do have some red highlights, as well as black print. So at the front here, you do have some index information telling you where to find the different helps that are in this Bible, the contents. You have the preface to the NIV. And this is the updated NIV, of course, the 2011. This tells about the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. It is the revised and updated edition. So a lot of information at the front here just to guide you in the use of this Bible. It even has a section here on how to use the Thompson Chain Reference Bible. And I know because the Thompson Chain Reference System is kind of overwhelming for people when they first see it, it's really good to have some information just to guide you in the use of it. And as it says here, this is something that's been around for more than a century, I believe since 1908 is when this edition or this reference Bible first came out, and there have been updates since then. Here's the Old Testament title page. And then one difference you'll see here just in terms of formatting is they took the information about the book of the Bible. Instead of that being in the back, they have it here before each book of the Bible. So information on Genesis right here before the book of Genesis, and you do have the chain number here right next to this information about the background of Genesis. And this is where you really see the beauty 
and the improvements in this updated edition because this formatting here uh, is really, I would say, overall an improvement. The print on this is, I believe, around a 9.5. I'm going to show you the previous printing. This again is the KJV. And this was an 8.3 size font as opposed to this 9.5. Already an improvement there. Also, I think you'll see this is just a little bit more clean looking. There is more uh, white space, which is just easier on the eyes. Neither of these are line matched, but I will say the paper in this is good enough to where even though it's not line matched, I'm not seeing the show through as being a major distraction. If you're sensitive to that, that might be an issue for you, but I don't see that as being a major problem. But as you can see, you still have a two column format. The difference now being that you don't have lines separating the columns. And also the references are justified to the text itself. Whereas in the older editions, all of the references were justified to the left. So overall, I would say this really is an improvement, not only in the print size, the boldness of the print, but this is comfort print. It's really made to be very visible, readable at a smaller size. And with the two color printing, I would say too, the paper just feels nicer to me. You really have a lot of improvements just in the readability and usability of this translation because it just has such a nice, clean look to it. So I'm not gonna get into this, on this video, into how to use it much. Uh, there are chain references. You can look them up in the back, see how all the different scripture references tie in together. You can look up a lot of different topics. So this Bible is really ideal for topical study. You will see, of course, in this Bible, there are gonna be charts and there's a lot of helps in the back, but even in the Bible here, they do have a chart that I see here. The uh, translator notes for this are on the bottom of the page. And the NIV, as is normal, is gonna be in paragraph format. And when you get to poetry, you're gonna have the stanza settings. And again, I'm not seeing this as being a real problem with show through. I think uh, it, they did a really good job with this. And to me, for all that's packed into this Bible, it's the most readable Thompson Chain reference I've ever seen. And part of the readability of the Thompson Chain Bible is gonna be the New Testament, the red letter print. So we'll take a look at that. But here's the New Testament title page. You do have a chart here, contrast between the Testaments, introduction for the next book of the Bible. And there's the book of Matthew, getting into the book of Matthew. We do see the red letter text for the words of Christ. And I will say Zondervan already made improvements with the red letter text over the Kirkbride. However, the comfort print makes that red print even easier to read. I think you can see that here. On the right is the older edition, and on the left here, the comfort print edition, and you can see much improved readability even in the red print. So that's really exciting. My favorite part about this updated edition is just the way the formatting looks with the comfort print. I think that is fantastic. I do also like that they put those book introductions right where the books of the Bible are. So a lot of good information. It's also nice that when you're looking up chains, topics, they're right next to the text, very easy to find. So let's get to the back of the Bible and really look at the information that you have in the back here. After the book of Revelation, you do have a table of weights and measures, and then this says the Thompson Comprehensive Bible Helps, containing a complete system of biblical studies. So that is equivalent, I think, to this page here in the older edition. And you can see everything in this new edition just 
is a little bit more user friendly. It does say eight departments here and they're all just kind of listed together. Whereas here you have it nicely listed out with the page numbers. And when we get to the next page, again, you see a lot of similarities in terms of they do have the page numbers of the comprehensive Bible helps, but this is just easier to look at, easier to read, more user-friendly. And I do see principles of Bible study on both editions here. One thing I will say, though, and this is my main comment about the updated edition in comparison to the older edition, the new edition, I would say, just has a cleaner look to it. Everything looks very nice, easier on the eyes. However, they don't have quite as much in here, and I think if you compare, you'll see some differences just in terms of what is contained in the back here. Now, the chain reference system, the most important part, is all there, but some of the little extra features, especially illustrations, pictures, you're not gonna get as much of that in this Bible. But as you go through here, you're gonna see that index of different uh, chain references in both Bibles. So a lot of similarities, but again, if I had to say, this is probably more readable overall, and definitely in the biblical text, I see more readability. But these are the kinds of things in the older edition that you will not see as much of in the new edition. So that's the life of Joshua. And you'll see here in the newer edition, when you look at the journeys of Joshua, again, it's a cleaner look, but not as, not as many illustrations, not as many pictures as you get in the older edition. Another thing you'll see here in the older edition is they would have, for certain key figures like Jesus here, you have the tree of Jesus life and you just get, have that full illustration there. You're not gonna get that in the newer edition. The harmony of the gospels is in both and the charts definitely look nicer in the new edition. So what I'm saying is the new edition does have a more updated modern look to it, much easier to read, but it isn't as picturesque as the older edition. And the older edition also had just some extra things like a little bit of the history of the different Bible translations. And I don't think you're gonna see that in this newest edition. However, in the new edition, what you do have here is very readable, usable, and there's still plenty of information here. They did also take out the archeology span supplement, but I believe that was not up to date anyway. And it was the least used feature according to uh, Randy from Bible Buying Guide. And he also has a lot of really good reviews on this Thompson Chain reference Bible. But as you can see, this new edition still has really wonderful information. You also have here at the end, the concordance for the NIV. After the concordance, you have a map index. It's interesting though, after the index for the maps, you have some note pages before you actually get to the maps. I kind of understand why they did it that way because the, the maps are gonna be on a different kind of paper. They're gonna be on more of a semi-gloss cardstock. But you do have some note pages there and then the maps. Very nice Zondervan maps. And that is the Bible. So again, this is the newest edition. It is revised and updated. And it really in many ways is an improvement over the previous edition that originated from Kirkbride. I'd say really it's it's taken the Thompson chain, which is beloved and classic, and really applied it to today's setting. It's, it's made it a little bit more fitting for the look and the feel of what people are looking for today. So I think Zondervan has done a great job 
I'm looking forward to the other translations that are coming out in the Thompson Chain reference. I think there are a lot of people from different backgrounds that are going to make good use of this. So I'm really grateful for that Zondervan has taken over the printing of this edition, the Thompson Chain, and also for sending me a copy for review. Thank you very much. If you have any questions or comments about this Bible, please let me know in the comments section below. Thank you so much for taking a look at this with me from a fresh perspective.